Hi everyone and welcome back. Today I'm going to create a couple of winter cards showcasing products from the latest release by my favorite things. For my first card I'm going to start with the background and I'm going to do a little bit of blending. If you notice I'm going to use the same brush for all three shades of green. I simply wipe it off a few times on a kitchen roll and I'm ready to go. I am going to use three different shades of uh, Distress Oxide Ink. I'm starting with Twisted Citron, which is my lighter color. I'm going to move on to Moon Loan. And then finally I'm going to use the latest new color by Tim Holtz, which is Rustic Wilderness. This is going to be a winter card, however I want to have a Christmas vibe, that's why I will use for this one traditional Christmas color combos. So I am starting with an ombre look, green look for my background, and I absolutely love this color combination, these three shades of green really go beautifully together. Once I have all three colors on my panel, I can go back and blend in between, just to make sure that I have a seamless uh, blending. Now, at the top of my background, I have placed a big die by my favorite things. This is from their latest release that says, I really miss you, nice big bold letters. I'm going to use the negative, but of course you can uh, keep the letters and use them on another card. As my focal point, I'm going to use a little girl from the You Slay Me stamp set. This is a little stamp set, but the girl is absolutely adorable and she has a little penguin friend. I'm stamping with extreme black ink by my favorite things. This is an alcohol marker, friendly ink, and I'm going to use my alcohol markers. Lately, I tend to grab my tree blends just because they are really convenient and color everything. And then I'm going to use the matching dice to cut her out. Again, I did go with uh, greens for her scarf and reds for her outfit just because I was going for that Christmas vibe. I am going to use a leftover snowbank from another project that I had but I want this to be all the way down on the panel. I don't want to cover up too much of the letters so I'm going to place a very thin line of um, glue at the bottom and stick that down making sure that it doesn't cover up too much. I just want to have a hint of a snowbank there. Then I'm going to use my paper trimmer to cut off the excess, make sure that I have a nice and clean line down there. You can see how little of that snowbank I added, however it does add something for my little girl. It gives her a ground to stand on top. I glued the panel on top of a standard card and then on top I'm going to pop her with foam squares at the back. It does cover up some of the letters, but since they are quite big, they are still readable. I think it's a lovely holiday card that you can send out to someone that you won't be able to see during the holidays since we have that COVID situation. So let's move on to another card. This time I'm going for a different uh, look and feel. I am going for a winter card and I'm going to play with blues and greys. Now I'm blending in weathered hood and uh, just because I want to have a background that is kind of grey to make my life easier I did start with a grey cardstock as you can see but I'm just intensifying the color at the top. I will use one of the stitched snow drifts die and I'm going to cut out a couple of snow banks so that I can stick them at the bottom of my panel. For the one that is going at the top I did use some foam squares at the back so I have some dimension and for the other one that is going at the back, I went completely flat. And of course I'm going to use my big scissors to cut off the excess. And now it's time to work on the focal points or the little bits and pieces that I'm going to work with to create my little scene. I'm going to combine a couple of new stamp sets. First of all, I will use one of the deer from this adorable stamp set. This is called So Very Fond of You. It comes with three adorable deer in different positions as well as three sentiments. I'm going to combine that with a few trees that are in the Pandas of Play stamp set, another adorable stamp set. And I like that if you use the pandas you don't really need to do a lot of coloring. After all they are already black and white. So anyway I'm not going to use the pandas for this card but uh, after stamping all the trees and one of the deer I did use my alcohol markers to color them and use the matching dyes to cut them out. Now if you notice I went with blues for the trees instead of um, greens and that's uh, because I wanted to have a wintery vibe with greys and blues on top of my card. 
Also, I did use my scissors to chop off the tree trunks. I didn't want to use those. And I'm just tucking uh, all those trees in between the snow banks. Some of the trees are going uh, far back. And the, for these, I went with glue and uh, stick them uh, directly flat. For others, I am going with a foam square. Finally, for my deer, I did combine foam squares as well as a little bit of glue just to make sure that he is leveled on top of the dimensional snow banks. And then to finish off my scene, I'm going to add snow. Now, there are so many different ways to add snow. You can add gems here and there. You can use your gel pen like I'm doing here to add little dots all over the background. You can use a stencil with embossing paste on top to add fluffy snow, which is dimensional. You can add splatters. Just uh, use whatever method you like. Now for my sentiment, I went with the sentiment that says let's get cozy together. However, I just stamped part of that phrase. I went just with the let's get cozy. And I'm going to glue the whole panel on top of a pre-folded card. Now, if you want, you can add um, snow on top of your die cuts, the trees and the deer. I decided not to. And just because I want to have a little bit of blink on top of my card, I'm going to spread a few of those white gems here and there. And here is the finished card. Here are some close-up photos on the two cards that I made for today. Just like always, you will find links to everything I used linked down below in the description area as well as on my blog. I hope that you had fun today, that you got inspired and thank you all so much for watching.